From practically growing up in Middle Earth to being named after Frodo's right hand man Samwise, it's no surprise that Sam Hewen wants to appear in the Lord of the Rings prequel. Confused? It'll all make sense. Just tag along as I journey into his life before Outlander. Now, many of you might not know this, but the actor was relatively unknown before he landed the part of Jamie Fraser. And that much like this character, he's also from Scotland. Yep, you heard that right. From what I've gathered, he was born born in 1980 in the Scottish county of Dumfries and Galloway. But make no mistakes, while in his native Scotland, he was neither a landowner nor a soldier or fugitive like Jamie. In fact, he was a heavily active theater artist. But this piece of information is not half as interesting as that concerning his early years and the story behind his name. Turns out his parents were part of an underground hippie group called Gandalf's Garden. As if the name's not a dead giveaway, this London-based community community borrowed heavily from J.R.R. Tolkien's canon. Before you ask, members mostly advocated for meditation and psychedelia instead of hard drugs. They were also into spiritual meetings as well, literary endeavors like publishing magazines and popularizing the underground press. So yeah, it seems that they weren't one of those sinister groups with a comforting veneer. Uh, mm -hmm. Actor, you know, quite green, not, not really much experience. And there were a lot of pressures, certainly starting off in the industry that I didn't really understand you know, mm -hmm. and I think there was a certain body type that we were expected to have. I think, I think women talk about it a lot. A lot of that. Anyway, Sam's parents were a part of the Edinburgh Group, or as a community member would put it, the Edinburgh Seed Center. And as I hinted at before, their love for everything Tolkien was such that they ended up naming their kids after LOTR characters. Sam, for instance, was named after Frodo's trusted friend. No, I'm not making any of this up. He confirmed this in an interview on the Kelly Clarkson show. He also went on to reveal how his brother is called Kidron for the same reason. For those of you who don't know, Kidron was the Lord of Falathrim during the First Age. Not just that, he was also one of the characters who received the Three Rings for the Elven Kings under the sky. Sorry, got a bit carried away there. Coming back to the point, and like I said before, although he wasn't christened that, his name is short for Samwise Gamgees. Now, if you're thinking these are the only two things to have nurtured his love for fantasy, you've enough other thing coming. A derelict castle also played a part. While promoting his memoir, Waypoints, My Scottish Journey, the actor recalled how after moving to New Galloway, at the age of five, he lived on the grounds of the Kenmure Castle in Scotland. Or, more precisely, in its converted stables. And it was this castle, ladies and gentlemen, that reinforced his love for fantasy. Um, well, I don't think so. We can take one thing back from, tw from 2020. From now, no, no yeah. No less. Um, Oh, that's a huh. tough one. What would you say? Know. Um... The Men in Kilt star also explained how he'd often imagine himself as Robert the Bruce or King Alfred during these times. To add to that, besides promoting his book, whose epigraph happens to be a Tolkien quote, the actor used this chance to subtly campaign for a role on Rings of Power as well. In case you missed the promo, let me quickly explain the role he's angling for. The 42-year-old actor, it turns out, is desperate to play either an elf or a dwarf. He's so desperate, as a matter of fact, that he already has a ginger wig ready for the role. Not only that, in a response to the host's concerns that he wouldn't be able to play a dwarf owing to his height, the actor joked that he's down to get prosthetics as well. Well, I wish him all the luck and hope that he gets to board his boat once the show returns in 2024 because he's not been so lucky with fantasy shows in the past. Uh, my mother is certainly very proud. Yes, yes. I'm not sure she's seen all of Outlander, and I hope she hasn't seen all of Outlander. But, uh, but she certainly has a collection of books that I keep sending her. Yeah. I bet she was proud the other night. You know. Few Interestingly enough, before he had his commercial breakthrough via Outlander, the actor auditioned for the roles of multiple Game of Thrones characters. According to what he told Cinema Blend, he auditioned about seven different times. These auditions included, but weren't limited to, characters such as Renly, Loras, as well members of the Night Watch. From what I've understood at the time, he was going for these roles because that's what everyone around him was getting themselves into. Sadly, however, and 
despite the show's huge turnover due to frequent character deaths, he didn't land a role. Personally, I don't think he would have been a good fit for Renly since Baratheons are supposed to have dark hair. As for Loras, while he was well suited to the character, it's good that he didn't get the part because if he had been chosen and wasn't timely killed off, he would have missed out on the role that's made him a household name. Yes, you guessed it, I'm referring to Jamie Fraser's character. Now, one more way in which all of his failed auditions were a blessing in disguise is that they made him more confident. They gave him, quote unquote, more experience with the process. Apart from that, the source material, that is, Diana Gableden's Outlander saga, was also always there for him to fall back on. Think about it. Since Game of Thrones outpaced Martin's book series, he would have struggled in terms of source materials. And as you might know, that is not the case with Diana's works. All seven of her novels were already published by the time Outlander went into productions. See them in different situations. And uh, the same person can look very much like a hero or a villain, depending on the situation in which you place them and the way in which they respond to that. And some people respond badly in the case of an emergency. They just Speaking of productions, while I can't be too sure if he'll land a role on Rings of Power, it's been confirmed that he's bagged a part in an upcoming rom-com. And not just any rom-com, mind you. The romantic drama features none other than Celine Dion and Priyanka Chopra Jonas. Called Love Again, it revolves around Priyanka's Myra Ray, a grieving woman who's trying to cope with the loss of her fiancé by sending messages to his old number. Now, what she doesn't know is that the number's been reassigned to a journalist by the name of Rob Burns. Burns, if you haven't figured it out yet, is played by our very own Mr. Hewan, who, for some weird reason, is fascinated by the texts and decides to go to Dion, of all people, to get him to help see Mira. Hey now, how about we hold off the judgment till we've actually seen the product? The film could turn out to be as rewarding for him as Outlander has been. This reminds me, we haven't discussed his future on the show yet. Well, not to be the harbinger of bad news, but it's coming to a close pretty soon. Yeah, and then so I got to the top of uh, the Empire State Building, right? Wow, Get so it you right. Go, that's your. That's, you yeah. had 50 bucks. You go. I'm gonna bucks, go. Nothing left. Nope, I thought take I'm gonna a go. Cab, go do it. Go check it out. Yeah. I go to the top. I saw Val Kilmer out there. Before you panic, let me explain. The imminent seventh season won't mark the end of Jamie and Claire's adventures. We all know how it'd be unfair after putting fans through what's now known as the Droughtlander. I guess the showrunners know that as well, because not only do we have an entire season till our favorite duo can walk into a Highland sunset, but also there's a prequel in the works. Yes, I'm just as hyped as you all are. Now, as for the question of what we know about these upcoming projects, Projects, the long and short of it is that the seventh season will be a bumper 16 episode season, whereas the final one will have a total of 10 episodes. So we've 26 more episodes of Hewan's acting goodness. When it comes to the prequel, on the other hand, it's called, for now at least, The Blood of My Blood and will follow the love story of Jamie's parents, Brian Fraser and Ellen McKenzie. Oh boy, color me intrigued. And on that note, this was everything on why Sam's desperate to bag a role on Rings of Power.